Christmas Eve cast on socks that I knit. I was trying to think how many years ago it was. Um, maybe like eight? I'll have to count the pairs of socks that I have um, that are Christmas Eve cast ons. I know which ones were. I can't always remember what like order they go in, but I know which ones were my Christmas Eve socks. So this was my very first pair. This is um, from the Woolen Homestead. This was like a vintage Christmas uh, yarn. Good morning, everyone. Happy December 2nd. Um, I realize this is kind of a strange angle. Um, I just have my phone propped up on my kitchen counter. Um, you can see behind me <laughs> is the kitchen. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to say good morning and check in and open my advent. Today was a little bit of a different um, kind of morning because um, Seaver was home and we were getting Hudson up. So I didn't have as much like alone time in the house in the morning to like film, you know, my opening of my advent and everything. But um, he just left with Hudson to drop him off at daycare and I thought I would just check in for a second. I also realized that I'm forgetting how much I said and explained in the podcast episode that has not been uploaded um, that I'm having issues with. I mentioned that yesterday. Um, I recorded one uh, last Sunday and I th was it last Sunday? Yes, last Sunday. And um, oh, I just saw, sorry. I just saw I got a notification that somebody commented on yesterday's um, Vlogmas episode. <laughs> Um, I'll go and read that. It's fun. I, a couple people have watched. I posted, um, yesterday is like last night, I think. I'm hoping to be able to upload the, those at night so that anyone who's like up late can watch them or, you know, first thing in the morning. I know a lot of people get some like knitting time and some, uh, free time in the morning. So that's kind of my goal. But, um, anyway, so I explained a lot about my advent. I explained a lot about, um, like life stuff. I mentioned yesterday that like Seaver had been gone for a couple days and never said anything about like why he was on a, like an overnight work thing. Sometimes he has to travel um a bit and it's too and like do a do a job and it's too long for him to travel like back that day and sometimes he has to stay and finish up the next day. So he was in Iowa um I think Wednesday night um, left early Wednesday morning and was there Wednesday night and got home late last night. So that's why he didn't get home till like 10 o'clock or whatever. Um, and then I also never said who, like what advent I have. <laughs> I have the Palmer Yarn Company, Palm, Palmer Yarn Co. advent calendar. It is her, um, first advent calendar. Kimberly started dyeing yarn a couple of years ago and is did an advent calendar this year and I jumped on that. She is a Winona, Minnesota yarn dyer and I used to live there for a number of years. I knew Kimberly for a while um, when I worked at a yarn store up there and I have some of her yarn just in my stash and I love her. She's got very like subtle natural colors um, and I am thinking about, I haven't chosen a project yet. I haven't cast on or anything. And I don't think I, honestly, I don't think I'm going to with my advent calendar from this year. I'm still working, as many of you know, I'm working on knitting up my advent calendar from last year because I find, I decided on a project. I mean, it took me until like this summer to decide on a project for that one. Um, and knitting time is just a little scarce these days. So working on that one still. And I think... What I'm really leaning towards, I'm going to have to wait till I see all the colors, um, is knitting the, um, oh, I'm forgetting the name of it, but it's by Tristan Molina. It's a sweater that uses up your mini skeins. And um, Tanya uh, mentioned it on a comment of my, like, the last podcast episode that's up. Thank you very much, Tanya. I had totally forgotten about that pattern. And I think because these, I'm just assuming these colors are going to like be very like soothing and there's going to be like no like crazy outliers, like bright pops of color. They're going to be very subtle and earthy and just beautiful. Um, 
I'm thinking they're gonna go really well together in like a sweater. That project does take a main color. Um, so I'm gonna wait until I open all of the minis and then I'm gonna go on um, Palmer Yarn Co, their website, and maybe choose um, a main color that I think wouldn't like blend into any of the minis and also just be really like neutral, you know, for all of the colors. So that's my plan. And I explained all of that in my podcast episode. So if I finally get that up, you'll hear all that again, <laughs> but that's okay. Okay. So I'm going to open this quick before I have to leave. It's already quarter to eight. So I'm running a little bit late, but because I don't have to bring Hudson in, um, you know, I can just go straight to work. So Okay, <gasps> beautiful. So I will flip the camera over and show this because this angle and the our kitchen lights, there's just a lot of shadow. And But this is a really pretty green. Um, let me show it to you a little better. All right, I've got the first rays of sunlight here coming in. <laughs> So yeah, look how beautiful that is. Such a pretty green. afternoon everybody it is about five minutes to four I am leaving work now I'm leaving a tiny bit early because tonight we are going to the Henry Vilas Zoo for the zoo lights they in the winter time a lot of zoos do this but they like you know have Christmas lights around the zoo and you can buy tickets and go and everything the Henry Vilas is usually a free zoo but um for this event, they, they do tickets, I think. Um, I think it's, I don't know if it's every day or if it's just Friday, Saturday, Sunday um, that they open it up in the winter time. But um, we're going to meet up with a couple friends of ours and they're, um, they have a one-year-old who's almost exactly a year younger than Hudson. I think his birthday is like September 19th, if I can remember correctly. <laughs> And then Hudson's birthday is September 8th, so they're almost exactly a year apart. Um, and yeah, they invited us to go, so we're really excited to do that. I've never been to like a Zoo Lights before, so I'm excited to do that. I do have a little bit of a headache, so I, I took something just now in the hopes that it goes away by um, tonight when we go. Um, and it should be, it's not too, too cold today. It's only in the 40s, so it shouldn't be as, like yesterday was so cold, that would have been really, really cold um, to go and walk around the zoo <laughs> in like 15 degree weather. But it's like in the 40s today, so that's good. I think it's like the warmest day of the week. So perfect night to do that. Um, yeah, so I should get some footage of that. Really exciting and festive. And otherwise, I'm just gonna go pick up Hudson now. Um, we're gonna go meet Seaver and yeah, and head out to that. <laughs> 